Hi, welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by standard conditions. You should then be able to describe different standard enthalpy changes. In the last video, we saw that enthalpy tells us the heat energy in a chemical system. However, measuring enthalpy is extremely difficult, so instead we determine enthalpy change. Now, one key idea you need to understand is that we always determine enthalpy changes under standard conditions. We refer to these as standard enthalpy changes, and they have this symbol. It's really important that you learn what's meant by standard conditions. Firstly, standard temperature is 298 Kelvin, which is 25 degrees Celsius. Standard pressure is 100 kilopascals. Standard concentration is 1 mole per decimeter cubed for chemicals in solution. And finally, all chemicals must be in their standard states under standard conditions. In other words, a liquid, solid or gas. The unit for standard enthalpy change is kilojoules per mole. OK, now there are four different standard enthalpy changes that you need to understand. I'm going to take you through these in this video and it's really important that you learn the definitions. The first is called standard enthalpy change of combustion. The standard enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance reacts completely with oxygen under standard conditions and all of the chemicals are in their standard states. I'm showing you an example here. This shows the standard enthalpy change for the complete combustion of the hydrocarbon ethane. Now there are several points about this that you need to consider. Firstly, we know that this shows complete combustion as we've made carbon dioxide and water. Secondly, all of the chemicals are in their standard states for 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals pressure. And lastly, the equation shows that we're combusting one mole of ethane. To balance this equation for one mole of ethane, we need 3.5 moles of oxygen. Now, it might be tempting for you to double everything to make this a whole number like this. However, that would be wrong, as now we've got two moles of ethane. So you need to remember that standard enthalpy change of combustion always refers to the combustion of one mole of substance. OK, next is standard enthalpy change of neutralization. This is the enthalpy change when one mole of water is formed in a neutralization reaction under standard conditions. I'm showing you the equation for this reaction here with hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution. Now, there is an interesting point about this. In this reaction, the key parts are the hydrogen ion from the acid and the hydroxide ion from the alkali. So what that means is that the standard enthalpy change of neutralization is always the same between any strong acid and any strong alkali. And this value is minus 57 kilojoules per mole. As you can see, this reaction is exothermic, and we're going to look at how to determine this enthalpy change in a later video. OK, the next standard enthalpy change is called standard enthalpy change of formation. The standard enthalpy change of formation is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements under standard conditions, and all of the chemicals are in their standard states. I'm showing you here the standard enthalpy change of formation of butane. Now, the key thing with standard enthalpy change of formation is to be accurate with the elements. As you can see, we're reacting 4 moles of carbon with 5 moles of hydrogen. Now, as an element, hydrogen exists as the molecule H2. Some students forget this and write hydrogen as simply H, which is wrong. So always double check that the elements are accurate. And remember that standard enthalpy change of formation is for 1 mole of product. I'm showing you here the equation for the formation of ammonia. As you can see, in this equation, we're making two moles of ammonia. So for standard enthalpy change of formation, we'd need to halve the equation like this. OK, the final standard enthalpy change is called standard enthalpy change of reaction. Standard enthalpy change of reaction is the enthalpy change when a reaction takes place in the molar quantities shown by the balanced chemical equation under standard conditions and all of the chemicals must be in their standard states. Now, standard enthalpy change reaction is used for any chemical reaction which does not fit into the previous three categories. I'm showing you an example here, and we'll be looking at standard enthalpy change of reaction in much more detail in a later video. In the next video, we'll look at how to determine standard enthalpy change of combustion.